Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here, bringing you another lovely math video. Uh, I've gotten this question a lot lately, so I thought I might uh, put a little video on it. And it's how to find the derivative of y is equal to square root of x. So, um, one of the things that we have to know about the square root of x, well, if I have y is equal to root x, really root x is the same as x to the one half. So we can use, anytime you have just a, a variable to an exponent, anything like that, we can use the power rule. So it's really, um, it's a thing of beauty when you can use the power rule. That's the, the derivative rule that you want to go to the most often. Um, Alright, so let's give this a shot. So, um, if you remember the power rule, basically what we do is um, we take the exponent right here, one half, and we multiply the coefficient. So since our coefficient of, you know, x to the one half is just one, it's just one half times one, which is still one half. And we take whatever we have there, x. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just subtract one off the exponent. So I'll end up with one half subtract one. So I end up with one half subtract one is negative one half. So there it is. There is the derivative of x um, x to the one-half, or x, or root x. So, now, depending on your calculus teacher, um, a lot of different teachers have different standards. Um, they may want you to get rid of the negative exponent, in which case, you could write this guy. So, let me just get a new page here. So, we originally had this, uh, one-half, x to the negative one-half. So, you might just uh, want to write that with a radical, so you could write it as 1 over 2 root x. So that will be the exact same thing. Since it's a negative exponent, you flip the uh, base, and it becomes a positive exponent in the um, denominator. So an intermediate step might be this. Maybe I should have wrote that. So x to the 1 half. So you just take it to the denominator, make the exponent positive, then it changes to root x. Um, and if your teacher is a real stickler and doesn't want any roots in the bottom, you could rationalize this guy. Now, I've never actually had a prof like this, uh, so I wouldn't worry too much about this one, but root x over 2x. So, um, but for my students, what I tell them is that this form right here is perfectly fine. And one of the things I'll often tell them is, you know, if you don't know this guy, if you don't, when you get the square root of x, you should be able to just do the derivative instantly because if you if you do not know it, uh, you haven't done enough questions. So make sure that you know this guy, understand where it comes from, and then you can apply it to any type of thing like cube root, uh, fourth root, all this kind of stuff. Uh, all right, guys. Hopefully this makes sense. I'll uh, see you later.